Number 58. One 55-gram serving of a particular cereal supplies 270 milligrams of sodium, which is 11% of the recommended daily allowance. How many moles and atoms of sodium are in this recommended daily allowance? Okay, so it looks like we have two questions here. We need to take the 270 milligrams and, of sodium, and sodium is Na on the periodic table, and we have to get to two things. We have to get to moles of sodium, and we have to get to atoms of sodium. Okay, so let's focus, let's focus on the first one first, in which we go to moles of sodium, and then we'll worry about how to get to atoms of sodium. So, in the 270 milligrams of sodium, how am I going to get to moles of sodium? Well, we should have done enough practice by now to know that in order to go to moles of sodium, it's either got to come from atoms or grams. In this case, I don't know why this is too far apart, but in this case, they gave us milligrams. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find the grams of sodium. And then from there, we can get the moles of sodium. So this first part is a two-step process. So let's try it out. 270 milligrams of sodium times that by a ratio in which we put the milligrams of sodium on the bottom and grams of sodium on the top because that's what we were searching for, the first one, right? Now, this is just a milligram to gram conversion. That's chapter one. If you don't know your SI unit conversions, go back to chapter one. Um, we have tons of questions there for you just in case you need it. But we should know that one gram equals a thousand milligrams or if you want to say one milligram equals 10 to the negative three grams, it's up to you. I'm going to use the, um, the top one because I just don't like to use the exponential numbers. So I'm just going to say that one gram equals a thousand milligrams and that will cancel out the milligram unit. Now we're left with grams. So this part is done. But now we need the second part. We need to go to grams of sodium to moles of sodium. So times that by ratio, grams of sodium on the bottom moles of sodium on top, and what information can we use to get these two numbers? Well, there should be a conversion that you guys should know by now, and I'm going to write it down. One mole of anything equals the molar mass in grams of that anything. I just label X as anything, either a compound or an element. And the molar mass can always be found on the periodic table. Now we're searching for sodium, so you should look on the periodic table for sodium, but voila, I have it here. Na is sodium, right guys? Now, when you're searching for the mass, just know that it's always the, the, high, the, the higher number, right? So it's not the 11, you'll use the 22.99. So in this conversion, one mole of anything, so one mole of sodium, equals the 22.99 grams of sodium. If you don't want to put 22.99 and round to 30, that's fine with me. I just put the numbers that are in your periodic table in the OpenStax textbook. So grams of sodium cancel out, and you're left with the unit that you want, which is moles of sodium, at least for the first part, right? We want moles. So let's get this. So if you multiply the numerator and then the denominator and then divide them, that's fine with me. I'll do that. So this should be 270 divided by... Uh, 22990, and then you just divide the two of them. So if I do that, 270 divided by that answer, and this has two sig figs in it, technically, right? The zero at the end doesn't count because there's no decimal, so my answer should have two sig figs. So this should be 0 0.012 moles of sodium. Box that answer off, that's how many moles of sodium are in this serving. So the mole answer is 0 0.012 moles of sodium. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how to get to atoms. But remember, the quickest way is actually your conversion between moles of sodium to atoms of sodium. This would only be a one-step conversion. Why, you may ask? Because you guys should know the conversion between moles to atoms. One mole 
of anything equals Avogadro's number in molecules or atoms. So 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of X. Now since we're using X and since we're using atoms, the X can only be an element. Can't be a compound. If you use compound, the word has to be molecule and not atoms, but that's okay. So we're going to take the moles that we found out, 0.012 moles of Na, and then we just use a conversion, mole of sodium on the bottom, atom of sodium up top, and now we're just going to use that conversion factor, right? It said one mole of anything, so one mole equals Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. The word mole cancels out. And now you just multiply across, so 0.012 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And we still need two sig figs, so 7.2 times 10 to the 21st atoms of sodium. Box that answer off. That's the second answer. So that would be this answer. This for atoms is 7.2 times 10 to the 21st atoms of sodium. And there you go. Okay, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope this helped. If it did, click the like button. It lets us know that we're doing our job right. And if you want to be the first to know when our next set of questions come out, you could click the subscribe button. And you would also be helping out so many other people from across the world to get to this channel as well. They would really much appreciate it. And I would really much appreciate it. Thank you for the support. But anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next question. Have an awesome day.